Hey you guys, it's Theodore here, and I'm about to do a hair tutorial inspired by Rock of Ages. Yes! We popped a wig on her, but we're gonna turn this human hair wig into the best 80s hair you've ever seen. 80s hair to me is big, big, big hair. So we're gonna take this sort of everyday, pretty girl look and turn it into the amazing texture of the 80s. But we're gonna do it with modern products because I'm not trying to give you a big crunch fest today. Basically, there's four sections to this look. The side, the side, the back, and the top. That's your money shot. I'm gonna go ahead and section this side first. And mist, sort of the mid part to the ends of the hair. And I'm even just gonna kind of comb that through a little bit. So the reason we added the water is because you have to add the mineral spray on damp hair. So this is pretty much damp hair, you guys. After we add water, we're gonna wanna add our favorite mineral spray. If you don't have mineral spray, just take a little bit of salt, a little bit of water, and put it together in a bottle. I'm just going to apply it the same way that I've applied the water. And you don't need too much. Fawn friends, I have a major introduction today. This is a diffuser. Oh yes, it's a diffuser from the 80s. With a diffuser, I recommend a high heat on a low speed. From the ends down, go ahead and get up to the mid shaft where you stopped wetting it down, and then go ahead and just park it there and hang out with your friend for a minute. A really great key point with diffusing is not to move it around. Literally, just keep it in place. It'll save you a lot of time in the end. Go ahead and continue this technique on the back, and then I'm gonna move to the side. This is when the pick comes in handy to straighten that out a bit. You guys know what mall bangs are? Poof diggity hair. We're making our way to the top. I'm already loving this wild texture here. The way to find the top of your head is pretty much go from the arch of your eyebrows and create a box. So I'm just gonna kinda eyeball it here. I call this the mohawk section. But this is really where we get to give you 80s because all of this hair is gonna cover all the rest of it. Don't waste time styling hair that no one's gonna see. This is my top section. Now this, you definitely, definitely, definitely wanna soak the roots down as well. Final mist of our mineral spray. Don't be stingy. So you wanna flip completely forward for this last section because we're using gravity to create volume. At this point, you wanna really make sure that the roots are 100% dry, otherwise you've just wasted your time. In the top, it's okay to really massage the roots at this point, just to even get more height. Look at this crazy volume we're getting. Promise is already getting a little excited, and so am I. The final, final detail is dealing with these bangs. Now obviously, Promise's makeup is done, so I'm gonna have you just cover your makeup. So if your makeup's done too, don't ruin all your work. A Little bit of water. Again, this front section, you really want to get the roots. You want to get rid of the part. Mineral the roots, and we know what to do. I'm really pushing the roots into themselves to make these bangs as short as possible. Even give it a little squeeze. Okay, so you can go ahead and reveal your face. Oh my goodness, look how much those bangs shrunk. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead with hot air, very low speed, and no diffuser, just to make sure I'm 100% dry. Now is the fun part. I'm gonna go in with my dry shampoo, and I'm gonna start spraying from the roots outward. First, I'm gonna take my pick, and especially in the top here, you separate it. That is where you get all of the crazy volume. There's many pick techniques, let's be honest. Picks are fun. Basically, you're detangling the hair, but in a very light manner so that it separates and creates that awesome 80s frizz. Especially in the bangs, you want to kind of lift it out and separate it. Brush through all of it with the pick so that you get as much height as possible. So we've got this insane volume, and now what we're going to do is really work these bangs out. So this is an old school trick. I'm going to go in here and split the bangs in half kind of like a clamshell. Take a little bit of hairspray, mist the roots, and then literally tease the base. And what you want is the first half to go back. You can use the hairspray to kind of form it. And you wanna basically do the same thing to the base. 
Now the bangs are bigger than the back, so we want to go in here and tease the base so that the back is even higher than the bangs, if you can imagine. Flip forward, fantastic. Give your hair a little more love with the pick, and then literally you just want to nail it with some hairspray. So for the 80s, it was kind of like the volume was on top and the sides, and then it kind of dropped down. So you can pull it with your fingers like this. In the 80s, they were giving you some major earrings, so you can actually pull the sides out with the spray. Dry it. That is some major 80s realness if I ever saw it.